Hello everybody and welcome back to Battletech where I've got a little bit of bad news. It appears that we hit a bug and that Jenner is prob probably just gone. It's not the end of the world. I reloaded the save post-mission, but we need to redo some of these mech repairs. So we've got this quick draw that I'm going to go ahead and send to storage. This Jaeger and this Panther. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-refit these mechs. Shouldn't be too, too long since we largely know what we're doing. We want an AC-20++ in this torso. We want some AC-20 ammo in there as well. Like so. And then we want a pair of medium lasers here. And then a pair of heat sinks. Actually, four heat sinks in total in that center torso. Now where are our heat sinks? Here's our heat sinks. There we go. So there's the Orion, good to go. The Grasshopper was a little bit more extensive, but we know that we mostly just want to remove that small laser, put in an extra medium laser. And the reason I'm doing all of this on camera is because if there's any differences that I don't put it back exactly the way it was before, then you know why. So heat sinks there, there, there. Confirm. Right. Okay. I'll get it in the schedule. And now we will go ahead and move the grasshopper up to the top. For now. Refit this black knight. There we go. Put in the ER large laser in the torso, the large laser there, and then we put in as many heat sinks as we can fit. Like so. We'll put in a second heat sink on this side. And yeah, that should be good. So there's the Black Knight, good to go. And I'm going to go ahead and make a save right now just so that we don't have to do that again if we run into more issues. And let's just make sure... Yes, oh, I did not do the promotions. Okay, we'll grab a point of guts here. Uh, we'll not grab anything for Chicken Hound. Yes, Clem, you can go ahead and grab a point of guts. Training complete. I'm receiving you. Eva is fine. Standing Earthquake, by. you can grab honestly both of these. Training confirmed, Commander. There we go. Yes, Commander. Bowel, you can go ahead and grab sure footing. Mech warrior training complete. Commander? Patches, go ahead and grab... I guess piloting? No, I'd prefer you get... I, I'd prefer order. you get guts. So payroll and pod, you can go ahead and do nothing, but... Well, payroll can. But pod can grab a point of gunnery. That's Training fine. Complete. And then razor... You can max out again. Training confirmed, Commander. There you go. There you go. And then Ripsaw, you're going to continue going down the tactics tree for now. Yes, Commander. And Steeljaw, you can grab that fourth point of piloting. Back warrior training complete. Waiting and actually, order. you can go up to level four for everything as well. Training complete. There you go. Okay. So now I'm going to redo this save. Just in case. There we go. And now we're going to try to uh, go ahead and ready up these mechs. Now, I know I haven't sold the mechs yet, and that's on purpose because we actually have an extra Jenner here. So we can ready two Jenners. Sure thing. We'll see There's that one. And ready. There's two. We'll have it warmed up ASAP. And finally, the Panther. Got it. Okay. Wouldn't be long. We see all of them. Excellent. So there's our 35 tonners. Let's go ahead and get those up in the old schedule. There we go. And now we can start heading towards our, ne our next flashpoint again, which I believe is this one. Yes, indeed. And off we go. And now that we actually see all three of our light mechs, this should work fine. Okay. 
So now we can refit our light mechs properly. At least, there we go. Let's go ahead and pause that for now. And we are going to need to get our light mechs good to go. So we can refit these Jenners. First thing I would like to do is pile on the jump jets. Now there are seven total jump jet slots for a Jenner. So we'll put one in the center and then three in each leg, I think. It's not much tonnage that we have available, but that's fine. We can put in then some just some medium lasers is all we need. We want to jump around and be annoying. So four medium lasers. And then two heat sinks. That's not very many heat sinks. What is our jumping heat generation? Average jump heat is 14 heat. That's a bit of a yikes, actually. Our sinking is currently 30 heat. Make that 36 heat. So yeah, that's going to run very, very hot. But we can also jump and just brace, and we'll sink a good amount of heat. So I think that's a manageable level of heat. And we'll be able to do 100 damage per round with this. Which for a light mech, that's pretty good. So we're going to do exactly the same thing with our other Jenner. They will be identical. Unless we wanted to run, like, SRMs or something. But I don't. Are we out of medium lasers? Oh boy, we're out of medium lasers. Well, I guess it's not going to be identical. Let's go ahead and put in the jump jets, because we definitely want those. So, one, two, three. One, two... Three. So we've got the one medium laser right now, and I guess we can put on some SRMs. Like, we could put on an SRM-6, and then two tons of SRM ammo with the medium laser. We wouldn't have heat sinks, but that's honestly fine. 24 heat alpha th and uh, 14 heat for jumping, so yeah, that that would be fine. We could then put in two tons of SRM ammo, which would be how many how many turns of ammo? Uh, for an SRM six, it has a hundred rounds, and I think we just put like one in each torso or one in the center, one in the head. It's a little safer, honestly. We would have 200 rounds of ammo. We would use... Let me pull up a calculator here. 200 divided by 6. So that would be about 33 turns of ammo. That is more than enough ammo. Realistically, 16 turns of ammo should be enough ammo. And then we could put on a medium laser, if we had one. Or we could put on a heat sink. But we don't really need a heat sink. We could put on an SRM-2. But honestly, I think that that's probably good enough. Now this Jenner is inferior right. to the other Jenner, right? Uh, yeah, because an SRM does... An SRM-6 could do 48 damage. I'm not sure about the plus plus, but figure it does about 50 damage. So it's about equivalent to two medium lasers. So this thing's got about two medium lasers, or about three medium lasers to this one's four medium lasers. But it'll have to do, since we are apparently out of medium lasers. On the Panther, we absolutely want the jump jets, again. But the Panther can only have four jump jets, so we will do two in each leg. We're not going to worry about maxing the armor on anything. We're going to go ahead and do the old PPC build. I think. So we have six tons remaining for heat sinks. Or rather, for heat sinks. Six tons remaining in total. 
Um, we could pass in like an LRM5. Like that, and then one ton of LRM ammo. That's 120 rounds. That's not bad. That's plenty of ammo. And then we'd have three tons for heat sinks. So then a heat sink there. We are out of heat sinks. We are in transit. Okay. The Panther has two tons remaining. So, uh, that's a bit of a problem. We're going to have to deal with that once we get to our destination, I'm afraid. So we're going to do the Grasshopper first, but then the two Jenners and the Panther. Actually, we could just cancel the Panther, but no, it, it'll be fine. We'll just install those two extra heat sinks once we get to our destination. Which we will be there. Actually, the Panther won't be ready by the time we get there. So there's that. Okay, Diva has returned to duty. The Grasshopper will be repaired after this jump. That jump took a little bit to load. That's a little spooky. Noble Bonds. It's not like I'm the only noble-born person on the ship, says Steeljaw, slumping low in your guest chair. I mean, there's you. Why can't Clem harass you about their stupid idea? Apparently, when Steeljaw asked to speak to you privately about something Darius wouldn't understand, it was about the trials and tribulations of being nobility. Well, what is Clem's idea, you ask? I don't know, something about cooling systems. He wants me to use my connections to get the idea to people who can implement it, and he doesn't believe me when I say that my birth doesn't automatically open doors like that. Even if it did, I can't waste it on bullshit. Steeljaw gives you a plaintive look, clearly hoping for advice. Or at least sympathy. Well... Send Clem to me. I want to know what he's talking about with cooling systems. Steeljaw looks relieved to pass along the burden to you, and later that afternoon, Clem shows up at your door. You scan the roughly written idea, and can immediately see that he may actually be onto something. You tell Clem to work it up into a full spec, and you'll arrange a follow-up meeting with Chief Vertanen to review it more in default. Or more in detail, even. So he's in high spirits, and I wonder if that's going to lead to an event later on. But if he's interested in working on cooling systems, I would like some higher tech cooling systems. So yeah, our panther isn't going to be done for a while. We'll be at Hirotidas for about five days before the panther is done. And then another day to put the new heat sinks on. But the Jenners will be done. Oh, we're going to get a financial report at the same time. That's nice. I've got the financial report. Okay. So uh, we're just going to leave this where it's at. Now, I'm not ready to begin this quite yet. We've got 53 days, so we've got plenty of time. We are going to wait until this panther finishes. The panther is now done. So now we will head into the mech bay and re-modify the panther again. We will refit it, since it's currently underweight, and stack on a couple more heat sinks because we can now purchase heat sinks. Theoretically, anyway. You just have partial centurions here. That's okay. So we will go ahead and purchase, I don't know, one, two, available. three, four, five, New six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these. How about? Okay. So with that, we will go ahead and stack on those extra two heat sinks there and there. That'll help our heat efficiency tremendously. 
In fact, our, we'll barely be building heat alpha striking with LRM and PPC, and realistically, we're probably not going to be doing both of them at the same time too, too often. But that's only going to take one day. We'll go ahead and confirm that work order. I'll let you know when that's done. And the Panther is going to go ahead and move up here. We'll run one more day. Work on Panther is complete, and the Flashpoint is now available. So this is a three skill difficulty, engagement length medium, consecutive deployments, yes. We get a rare mech out of it, which is nice. And we also have a tonnage requirement for one or more missions. We don't know how many yet. However, it is pretty much time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will start this flashpoint. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all then.